all of our copiers moving forward will have the paper cut print management system on it and this is going to be a simple way to manage users for a copier but also give us some advanced features that honestly are pretty cool this time and age when it comes to print copy and scan um, I gotta be honest I've looked at it and at first I was thinking copier codes and all this other stuff um, how could that be helpful but after seeing it in action uh, the, it's going to be pretty awesome. Um, I'm going to dive into it real quick and show you exactly what this looks like on the copy. Whenever you first go to any copier, you're going to notice the home screen looks a little bit different. It's not going to look like you're used to where you can just get into the copier. It's not going to ask for a department code or anything like that. It's going to ask for your username and password or the ID number. You're going to want to choose the ID number. Uh, that coincides with the other video, so if you have no idea what I'm talking about for ID number, you need to go back and watch that uh, video in our tech support site that talks about how you can reset that or just how you can find it. Um, the system automatically assigns you a random key, but what that means is you may not be able to remember that easily. You can update that though and change it if it's something that you know you can't remember. I'm going to go ahead and log into this. I'm going to put in my ID number and keep in mind this isn't my actual ID number it was one that I did just for this video once I do that four numbers very easy it gives me three different options I can do a print release I can access the device and I can scan the print release is going to allow me to go in there and release individual print jobs also up here where my name is if I have any pending print jobs it will allow me to print all of them at one time so let's say I have 10 things that I tried to print or I sent to the virtual printer I can come in here and just print all at one time or I can release only the ones I want to right now uh, what that also means is we're not printing to an individual printer we're printing to a virtual printer and then walking to any copier in Stanley County Schools to release that print job so if one copier is busy we can go to another one um, I'm going to go through here see look at time me out I'm gonna log in again and then I'll show you what this looks like for accessing the device when we're talking about access the device that is accessing the copier so now this looks very familiar of what you're used to um, you can go through and copy and do whatever you need to do now here's the key though in order to get back to that paper cut screen where you can scan or do other things this number one will take you right back to that screen so it's not the home button or anything like that it's number one because home will take you to the actual copy your home but I would stay away from that what you need to focus on is this screen right here where it gives you these three options because I'm going to show you too where the scan part we're not going to use the scan uh, on the copier itself we're going to use paper cut to do the scan because I'll show you what I'm talking about. When I click on that, it gives me scan to my email or scan to Google Drive. I don't see why we would scan to email anymore because the scan to Google Drive is pretty amazing. What it does, that PIN number connects to your Google account. So that means I can click scan to Google Drive. I can put my document that I'm trying to scan into the paper feeder and hit start and then from there it scans it into my Google Drive I can even rename the file right here if I want to also you'll notice that there'll be a folder once you do this in your Google Drive that's called scans for paper cut MF so all of your scans will go there by default another neat thing is it will send you an email once it's completing in your drive with that document so not only will it email you anyway it goes ahead and stores it in your Google Drive so that you can uh, share it with other people or just have it for your reference so I'm gonna just go ahead and go back out of this and hit one once I'm done it will time out after about 30 seconds or so 30 seconds to a minute or if I'm done with the copier completely I just hit this logout button and it takes me back to the home screen uh, hopefully this will uh, be an easy process easy transition I think it's an amazing transition to make this easier for the user to go but it is important that you use your personal pin because that ties in with your Google account and gives you all of the other neat features to be able to scan into your Google Drive or even just to print off your document so if you try to use somebody else's uh, key their pin uh, you won't see any of your documents pending you'll only see theirs so 
keep that in mind. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to us. We're always here to help.